continue taking a look at the bracket in Gainesville, the lower part of the Gainesville region. And out again. Yeah! join them out there, and Northern Iowa gets the six seed, the uh, Panthers, a five seed last year, got bounced early in the tournament, they'll try and make amends this time as a six seed overall, they'll be at home against Niagara, Florida and Missouri are also there, the Gators need to get through the first and second round to try and get home. Northern Iowa. And I don't know that much about them. I know they've been consistently in the top ten all season. Um, they're going to probably be really quick, great defense. Um, you know, they've knocked off some really good competition. So, you know, we're excited to go somewhere new and, and face, uh, you know, not a Big Ten team for the first time. <laughs> um, what's the mindset of the team? I mean, you had a week off. Were you guys just anxious to, to find this out? I mean, it's a lot of time to kind of sit and stew about it. Yeah, well, it's always exciting, you know, to, you know, wait and see your name pop up on the screen. And we were just waiting and telling ourselves, whoever we get, we just want to go out there and play aggressive and play well and give ourselves a chance, you know, to take a set or to advance. But mainly, you know, we've got a lot of experience the past two years playing, you know, top ten teams. So we got another shot this year. Kind of mentioned some some things there. What, what's the message going to be this week? I mean, with, with that experience, how, how are you going to be able to use that to your advantage? We're just going to feed off of the fact that, you know, we don't have, you know, to play at Stanford or Nebraska. You know, we have a team who has not won a national championship that we're going to face. And, you know, we're just saying, why not Niagara? What, what do you think your lasting message is going to be to them, you know, right before they hit the floor? You know that we're building for the future, and every year when we perform better in the tournament, we give this program a chance to advance. And that's kind of what we've been talking about. Is it's not just about right now; it's about next year and the future years. And the more opportunities we get in the AC, in the NCAA tournament, the more we want to make the most of them. Your first reaction when you see Northern Iowa pop up on the screen? Not a not a Big Ten team, not a national powerhouse, not a Stanford, UCLA, anything like that. You see a Northern Iowa mid-major school. Thoughts on what you think? Yeah, I think. Well, we all kind of made guesses this morning at practice, and that was not one of our guesses. So it's kind of exciting not to see one of the Big East, Big Ten, you know, schools that we've seen in the past. So it might give us a little bit more confidence going into the tournament. What do you think the mindset's going to be heading into the tournament with that experience under your belt um, uh, of two tournaments and, and playing in big matches against big name uh, opponents? Uh, you think that's going to help you guys? This yeah, time I definitely think we're going to have a more confidence than we've had the previous two years. Going in the first year, we all were a little nervous and didn't have any experience. The next year, we went in with more confidence, but we're still playing. You know, a national champion with Penn State, and this year going in um, three years, you know, seven returning who've been there two years, you know, two have been there last year. So I think we'll go in with a lot of confidence. You have to kind of know what's going to happen and where you're going to go, and you know, now you can start the game plan a little bit. Yeah, definitely. This morning we just all wanted to know, and it was it was hard to you know just keep practicing when we didn't know who we were going to play and we weren't sure how. Uh, our game plan was going to be set up, so it's nice to finally know who we get to go play.